welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. Today, we stand on the brink of a personal manufacturing revolution in which people will be able to design their own objects and then print them out, either using their own 3D printer or an online or in-store 3D printing service. Right now, a lot of the focus in 3D printing is on the printers themselves. However, to become a 3D printing pioneer, you'll first have to learn some 3D design software. The two leading high-end packages for 3D printing design are AutoCAD from Autodesk and SolidWorks from Dassault Systems. While these are both excellent applications, they also cost over $3,000. Most 3D printing enthusiasts therefore use other lower cost or free applications, including the mid-priced Rhino and TurboCAD. Some 3D printing pioneers also build models in Blender, a free open source 3D package that was recently updated with 3D printing tools. 3D sculptures may also be created in Sculptris, a free version of a high-end package called ZBrush that provides a user with a sort of expandable digital clay. All of these options noted, my top three software recommendations for 3D printing beginners are SketchUp, 123D Design, or Cubify Invent. With over 500,000 downloads, SketchUp is a very popular and easy to use 3D design package. Both Pro and Standard Editions are available, with the former costing $495 and the latter being free for personal use. If you want the free version, be sure to download from the link below SketchUp Pro. As in other packages, 3D models are created using a range of basic shapes that are then extruded, cut and otherwise manipulated into more complex creations. An online warehouse of shared 3D models is also available. For 3D printout, models need to be saved in a file format called STL, or the standard tessellation language. While SketchUp cannot natively create STL files, a free plugin from CADSPAN adds this functionality. A wide range of free training resources are also available online. In 2012, Autodesk launched a range of 3D design tools under the banner Autodesk 123D. These free apps allow anybody to create objects for 3D printing and include 123D Catch for turning photos into 3D models and a sculpting app called 123D Sculpt. Most powerful, however, is 123D Design. This can be run in a web browser or downloaded as an app for an iPad, Mac or PC. While the downloads are free, you either need to create an account or log on using social media. Unlike SketchUp, 123D Design was written from the ground up for 3D printing and has a wide range of tools. Like all 3D design applications, it does take time to get used to, but can also deliver excellent results and has an excellent look and feel. The package natively exports files in STL format for 3D printout. Cubify Invent is an entry-level 3D design application from 3D Systems, the world's largest manufacturer of 3D printers. The package can be found under the Create menu at cubify.com and costs $49, although a two-week free trial is available. Like 123D Design, Cubify Invent was written entirely for creating designs for 3D printout and includes a powerful set of 2D sketch and related 3D modelling tools, as well as functions to check the integrity of models before printout. As you may expect, the package directly exports STL 3D printing files. Many online services now allow anybody to print their 3D design. You therefore don't need to have a 3D printer to join the 3D printing revolution. Right now, the three most popular online 3D printing services are Shapeways, iMaterialize and Sculptio. The really cool thing about these services is that not only can they 3D print your designs, but they can also sell your objects via an online store. This means that, once you've mastered a 3D design package, 
it's possible to go into business selling physical products without having to invest in any tooling or stock whatsoever. Rather, you simply upload your object file and let the online 3D printing service get on with printing it on demand and shipping it to the customer. Alternatively, budding 3D printing designers can freely share their designs by uploading them to Thingiverse.com. One of the most common questions I get asked is, what computer skills should I develop to future-proof my resume? A few years ago, the answer to this was straightforward, and I told people to learn basic office packages. Then along came the web, and we added to that software for web design and web page maintenance. These days, I'd add another section on 3D design, and particularly 3D design for 3D print. This is not because in a few years' time everyone's going to be 3D printing things all the time, but if you've got these sort of things on your resume, it shows you're forward-looking and understand where the world of computing is headed. More information on 3D printing can be found in my book, 3D Printing, The Next Industrial Revolution. But now that's it for another video, and I hope to talk to you again very soon.